to take off on another road trip. Sungfjord, biggest fjord in Norway, here we come. Tasha's driving now. Your first fjord you fall. Yeah, I think they're crazy. <laughs> they're wild. Mommy should look. <laughs> Mommy's not looking. Mommy's just gonna look, fall on the side the of the road. Just look, look, I'm look, looking look. at the road. Just look at the side. It's gonna be okay. You weren't this way when we were going up the other place. That is fun. scary. <laughs> no, let's not go down. Yeah. We are on the top of a mountain, the fjords are all around us. The kids are nervous. <laughs> Mommy's nervous. I'm driving. <laughs> the rocks are transformers in the rocks. Transformers in the rocks. B, come on, buddy, you gotta stay with us. <laughs> really expansive. <laughs> I want to hold your hand so, so that I don't get hurt. Wow. This is easily as high as the other place. Um, our kids are walking away. <laughs> hey guys, stay next to the thing. Madison, what do you think? I think they're beautiful. <laughs> Here we are in the fjords, in the mountains. Ollie, what do you think? What do you think, little buddy? Are there transformers in the mountains? <laughs> you want me to throw you up in the air? You may throw you up here. No. Give you a wee. No, no, I'm just teasing. Oh, here comes B. He's coming. So here we are. This little stopover. I I've always held this vlog kind of close. I've thought a lot about it. I have a lot of fun with it. It's something I think a lot about. How to make it successful? What would make it better? You know, lots of those questions and. Recently on the fast, I felt like God was challenging me to really let go of it and really let him into it. And I think I was afraid that he would tell me to stop the vlog when really he just wanted to join me in it. And I think it was, it was a moment where I just was like, I really want to do this. I really want to have control. And I was just afraid if I let him have it, if I let him do what he wanted to do with it, that it would end up leading to a just ending. And I kind of realized that I wasn't really trusting God's character. I wasn't trusting that he was good. And what a shame, you know? I mean, I had the, I have my best friend, the creator of the world that can work with me, that can talk with me, that can lead me through this. And I'm holding him out because I'm afraid that he's not good. Anyway, so I was just processing and I felt like he was saying, don't like, let me into the vlog. Let me, shape what what you do and how it works and that's why I shared the fasting video I, it's not something that I would have shared and I think sometimes the stuff that I should be sharing the stuff that's raw and real for some reason I hold back from it but he just encourages me and releases me into actually going into it and so good so I'm gonna be trying to do that more now about to send the drone up see if we can get some cool footage
don't know what this place is. Like uh, Overlook. What do they call this? Uh, Stiege. Uh, I don't know. Stiegen or is know. it? Many names. It's yeah, yeah. Many names, it's an overlook over some fjords. And I met some other YouTubers. Way. What are y'all's names? I'm Elias. And I'm Kaisa. Yeah. And I... we've been doing this for one year and we met this guy and. Very cool. That's cool. What's your channel? Elias and Kaisa. <laughs> but. Hey, original. We'll, hopefully he will take it in the description and yeah, yeah. you can check it out. It's mostly traveling vlogs. I caught the cool shot of y'all with the drone, yeah. and then I was like, oh, I gotta go tell these people. <laughs> yeah. They're YouTubers, like, I don't know if they have a drone yet, but like, this yeah. is a sick shot, so I gotta give it to them. That's appreciated. So good meeting you guys. Keep going with YouTube, that's Thank awesome. Thank you, you too. Yeah, uh, looking feel forward free to, to reach out. out. I'll yeah. subscribe. Do that, sub for seven. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I'll you know. check it out. Yeah, man, cool. cool. Well, y'all have a great day. Thank you. We'll see you around. Bye. Bye. Is this car gonna be able, you think, to I get think so. past me? So, we are going to visit a YWAM cabin. We're gonna go there, it's set up for people to come and just connect with God and pray and we're about two hours from our ferry which will take us straight to the town, the little village that we're going to. Or, or to the We just got on a ferry. Fastest way to Ortsnevik is ferry from the east. From the west you can go by road. So short ferry ride, one hour. This ferry boat only holds seven cars. Everybody got some ice cream, Avi, did you get some ice cream? But it's only, it's only two. I think it's ice cream. So yeah, I headed to this cabin for a few days. I, uh, I'm excited to see what happens, you know? I mean, when you really let go of the reins and you say, God, what do you want me to do? And you let God kind of direct it, you just don't know what's gonna happen, it's an adventure. And I've been living my life that way to some degree, but for some reason I just felt like this vlog, this YouTube thing, that it, it was, and really it started off that way. I didn't really ever ask God what he thought about it from the beginning. And I tend to find that's usually the way things go in my life. Either he's the one in it from the beginning or I leave him out. And uh, it's always better when you bring him into it, but it's always harder too. So we got here, we made it to the cabin a couple hours ago, made dinner. Straight up glory behind me. Look at that. Yeah, sometimes we just mess things up for ourselves by complicating things. I think what I think I want and inside my head, the mess that's in there can yield quite a lot of interesting results. And it really is coming back to me and what I can make and what I can figure out. I think there's something really amazing about partnering with God and just doing that with him. Not because he needs it or because it's only holy if he's in it, but because we're friends and because I get to share life with him and share everything with him. And this vlog isn't the only thing and it's not that he wants control of everything, it's that he wants to be a part of everything. And so it's just a, a really cool blessing to get to let him be a part of it and invite him to be a part of it and to share it with him. So here we are, gonna be here a few more days, then we're gonna go to Bergen, see Shashti, 
Thanks for watching. If you're new here, we are an American family living in Norway, trying to live and tell our story well. We are Christians, we're believers. We love Jesus with all of our hearts. We came to Norway to share the love of Jesus with Norway. If you're new here, we'd love to uh, see you around here more often. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.